Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel and uh, I want to welcome you to, to our channel. Uh, i got lots of new subscribers, I want to say hello to all you. Uh, here we try to uh, simplify life a little bit, um, try to get people more self-reliant, prepping, uh, happiness, uh, taking a chance, and getting our lives in order. And uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I uh, I also own a three radio stations: uh, Good Talk Radio, Good Music Radio, and Good Old Radio, all under Cutting Edge Radio Network. And there's a lot of other things I do too. I sell poopy bags, uh, Ranger Rob poopy bags, and I sell these hats. Um, this is uh, keep on rednecking hats, and they're all down in the description. So I have a new radio station. A new radio syndication uh, it was a John Smith show and he decided to change it because what he was noticing is he was trying to do a, a political kind of show and all he was doing was just repeating things that are already being said and he says I'm you know we all can do that we can say OAC said this and Nancy Pelosi said that and we just kind of keep reporting it but nothing really happens so he changed the name of his uh, his uh, radio station to Backyard Politics. And the reason he called it that is um, what we're finding is, is a lot of us are noticing the federal government is really infringing on us, um, on regulations, our typical uh, First Amendment, Second Amendment stuff. Uh, and it's just uh, snowballing. And what we're seeing is a lot of people, uh, some states now, fighting back. For example, Texas. Texas is saying, enough of the mandates. Um, you be accountable for yourself. And, and that's how it should have been all the time. Is we know we had a pandemic. We know we had these problems. And uh, educate us and we'll decide whether we wear a mask, when it's appropriate, when it isn't, whether we should lock ourselves in or not. Anyway, so we're seeing these states starting to say, uh, you're pushing too much federal government. And if there's, if you hear the wind, I apologize. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, you can see my reflection. <laughs> okay. As you know, I'm using my little camera. Uh, so John, who's got this new radio station called Backyard Politics, is exactly kind of what he was saying is like well I, I want a radio station that makes a change or uh, helps support change not just repeat repeat information that we all know already and not have any results from it so he uh, he's putting more emphasis on his state he's in uh, Arizona uh, to understand the bills and legislations uh, <laughs> Um, that are coming out in his state and other states around him and how they would impact us because the states can override or block mandates from the federal government which this particular government is just gone nuts um, and there's so much more behind it it's um, there's money it's all about money you know that and the banks are behind it and they, you hear this big reset thing but all it is is to suck us dry and the, and the elites are looking for ways to get our money and uh, it can be stopped but we have to do it at our level us little peoples us little peoples and uh, we can do it we can and so his radio show uh, puts emphasis on getting involved in your local government and so you can do it at all levels and that's where we need to work uh, in our schools too if we can uh, but uh, get involved in your city councils get involved in your uh, homeowners associations to getting involved in being a mayor or governor or uh, some kind of leadership in your area now uh, I know that sounds easy when you say, you say it comes out easy but it is quite a commitment and not everybody can is up to it like an old guy like me 
uh, I might be up to it because I got a little more freedom my kids are growing up where other folks are you know in a nine to five and trying to stay alive um, it's asking a lot of us but unfortunately the ones that are um, getting advantage over us um, are the ones that have made the time to do so and so a lot of us are like we're living life we're trying to survive here and we don't have time to go play these games I'll let somebody else do it well you're seeing the results of letting somebody else do it and uh, uh, it's a problem we need to step up whether it's uh, whether it's just your association or your councils or uh, uh, leadership or maybe even starting your own channels and doing podcasts or making your own videos of describing what you're doing to make life better for all of us and for your family and so that's what we do on this channel in this channel we try to show that being independent and open on thinking for yourself and being accountable for yourself is really really important and we've been giving that up and I even I've like rolled over for a while and just said you know <clears throat> I'll just go with the flow I don't want to rock the boat and then all of a sudden I'm realizing wow they want to attack my gun rights I can't make certain videos I can't say certain things on my channel anymore um, without being scolded or being threatened that my uh, channel will go down and uh, <clears throat> that's wrong and then platforms are being knocked down just because a group of certain uh, businesses and and um, corporations have said well no more parlor we're not and they all get together and shut them down and they fought back and they're back on and uh, the thing is is we've been uh, on the uh, defensive all the time and we need to be offensive we need to <laughs> we need to be offensive we uh we need to be on top of this stuff we need to be the check we need to be in front of these people's faces going uh no <laughs> the states uh texas was the bravest and uh, other states uh, states are follow they're saying no we will we'll be accountable for ourselves we understand the uh risks we know when and when we should not wear masks we know when and where uh, are what you know whether we can open our schools we uh, businesses can open up a hundred percent and make the critical decisions based on what they know already and be accountable for their business <coughs> to uh, um, run at a hundred percent and try to be safe will it be perfect no because we're humans this is how it is um, and the other thing is we need to realize that God gave us some really wonderful bodies that really can fight some of this stuff off now we know because of medical practices and, and uh, uh, you know people living longer and uh, we know that they're not more susceptible to things like the COVID stuff <clears throat> and uh, so they have to be more cautious and use all safety manner um, <laughs> measures as possible <laughs> my german shepherds right in here i don't know if you can see her she sees a car go by and she likes to chase the fence and chase birds and all that stuff squirrel i know i squirreled on you <clears throat> but i i'm urging all of us and once again i gotta practice what i preach now i have a platform so i can uh talk about our freedoms and independence so um uh, being self-reliant uh, prepping and being prepared we learn so much there's a lot to learn and um, unfortunately from what happened in Texas uh, you know uh, those that prepped uh, they actually started making videos and saying this is what I did during the crisis and uh, hopefully we learn from that and so that's what we do in this channel is we show you uh, an older couple that we're in the city we wanted to be more self-reliant we had the opportunity to get five acres no we're not going to be the big farm and we're not telling everybody you should be a big farm but be more self-reliant if you want to grow food you don't have to have cows you don't have to have horses um, you can have just chickens if you want and growing your food is more really important 
and uh, <clears throat> we're having fun with it. Oh, and preserving, learning to preserve food. And uh, you'll find your diet will change. You'll uh, eat healthier because one is you're putting some work into your food. Two is you're preserving good food. And now with our freeze dryer, we're preserving what we call treats, uh, like strawberries and pineapple and things like that, um, that will substitute for the times you reach for those Oreo cookies and chips. Um, you can change your habits very easily and, and have a lot of pride in doing so. And at the same time, preserving food so if we have an issues, we're okay. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you're hearing here, guys. Gosh, it's so... German Shepherds are uh, so playful. Uh, they just don't mature very fast. <laughs> it's, it's funny. I don't know how the chocolate lab puts up with her. Because she is relentless. So I squirreled on you again. But uh, right now you're starting to see videos coming out. Um, Prepper Nurse, a couple other ones. We're all kind of realizing uh, it's time for us to make our move. Um, the, the ones that oppose us, the ones that want to take our freedoms away, they've been playing this game for a long time. And they've been, uh, they're in deep. And it's going to take a lot of work to put them back in check. Now, there's some good ideas on the other side. I'm not saying that, that um, but there's uh, a lot of them have just gotten too far that they want the government to run everything. And pretty soon this freedom, which some of you haven't had the chance to have, um, but there'll be a time that you'll want out your own homestead. And you're going to see rules and regulations and everything to keep you from doing that. <clears throat> and uh, we want you to have this opportunity. We want everybody to, uh, uh, guys, <laughs> get out of there. That's my roses. Out. Come on. Go, 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 go. Out of there. Come on, Cinder. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Save the roses. I do want them trimmed back, but come on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, we, need to, we need to step up. We need to volunteer when we can. Get in, uh, in vault. Um, <laughs> hold on. All right, so now the dogs took away my rants. <laughs> They're getting in trouble. Uh, learn some new tricks. And if you want this opportunity to have some property, and it doesn't have to be five acres or 10 acres or 100 acres. It can be a one acre. It can be a half an acre. You can do amazing things. We've learned. And that's what I was saying is we're learning from the things that have been happening besides us. Uh, food shortages, the grocery stores, uh, just craziness. And there's more things. Just because the COVID might be a uh, calming down doesn't mean that something else isn't uh, going to interfere with our food supply, um, our merchandise. Uh, hundreds of things could occur that we could never think of. Who would have thought we would be talking about this a year from now? And, uh, so yeah, um, hopefully uh, the inspiration is step up. Be accountable for yourself. Don't expect others to make rules for you and guidelines. Get Make your own decisions. Some of you guys like, screw the math, screw all that. Others will say, well, I'll use them here and there when I need them, when I'm in a big group. Um, and uh, no big deal. So uh, <clears throat> anyway... I hope from this channel you see that we, uh, at all ages, you can make changes. We've, I mean, go look at our videos a year ago and look at the changes we made and the new things we're learning. Hydroponics, chickens, greenhouses, um, uh, backup power systems, generators. We're doing all that too. And uh, one step at a time. And uh, all depends on your budget, your time, your careers whether you're retired or not. Uh, even though I may be retired, I'm not really retired because I still keep very busy with my side businesses. And my wife works 9 to 5, and that's why you don't see her that much. Uh, we're doing what we need to do to survive and have the things we want and pay for it because this stuff does cost money. 
and have health care. Uh, those are realities. And uh, I mean, I, I know you see uh, homestead people where they're both at home and they're both doing that, but uh, uh, not all people can do that. It will be different. Your setup will be a lot different than my setup. So anyway, I hope I made you think a little bit that we all need, including me, me and Sherry, um, uh, anything we can do on a local level to uh, enforce or uh, protect the things we cherish, our liberty, our freedom, our independence, our uh, amendments. If we need, we need to get in there. And unfortunately, um, a lot of those younger people need to be in there. And we need to make sure that they get a chance to understand what this life is like and how much fun it is and how, how to be a great patriot and American and uh, a great father, mother, family, and uh, have faith again, not be afraid to speak, have debates and compromise. Those are all a values that we've had in the United States for years. And if you want to talk about racism and all that stuff, hey, we were in the right direction in the first place. Um, we were going the right way. Um, years ago, um, we had our differences and resolved them and had a plan to unite us all as Americans. And uh, <coughs> uh, it's being destroyed by inclusiveness and, and uh, uh, dividing us up again. And, and um, it's not good. Uh, we need to get back to being one all Americans we were look worse it was going away we weren't looking at colors and differences before and now we are and that's not good uh, we want these special programs and all that stuff and all it does is it divide us more and we need to go back to working together and just hiring and, and working with people on their uh, abilities and uh, we can do that again. <clears throat> we just need to say stop. No more. I'm here and my vote says no. We're not going to make more rules. Take away people's freedoms. We're going to make everybody accountable. For themselves. Make your own decisions. You're a big boy, big girl. And uh, you're an adult. You can make adult decisions. They call it adulting. <laughs> so anyway guys just food for thought please leave your um, comments below and thank you all the new subscribers and uh, we'll get back to the farm stuff we have uh, uh, freeze dried onions going on and uh, hopefully this weekend we can get the plastic on the greenhouse and start operating the greenhouse and uh, we're planting stuff and uh, we're using some new techniques we've never used before um, we know how to do the basics with soil, but uh, uh, hydroponics is uh, kind of a... It just seems like a cool thing to try. <laughs> so anyway, guys, have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And like my hat says, keep on rednecking, guys. <laughs> Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.